This may look like a normal Chevy Cruze, but for 2014, they're doing something a little bit different. They're giving us a diesel Chevy Cruze. So we're actually on our way to Indianapolis, Indiana, and we can probably make it in one tank of fuel, which is just fantastic. Chevy says you should be able to do about 800 miles on one tank, and that will get us pretty darn far. And I guess I have to get used to diesel because after $5, <laughs> just as a top up before we leave, it's already clicking over that it's filled with fuel. So <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty cheap road trip. It's been a few hours. We are now 430 kilometers into our trip to Indianapolis. Uh, our average speed, 104 kilometers an hour. Average fuel economy, 5.3 liters per 100 K, which is incredible. And our gas gauge is showing just under a quarter tank used. So we have just under three quarters of a tank of diesel still in the car. So we've done 431 kilometers and it's down like that much. Something that makes diesel cars so enjoyable on long trips is that they rev so low. So diesel engines make their power very, very low uh, in the rev range, which means that when you're doing 110 kilometers an hour, it's only revving at 2,000 RPM, actually a little bit lower than 2,000 RPM. And you do get wind noise from the car, but you don't really get an engine rumble. The engine isn't working hard at all. And it's just super nice on these long drives where you only hear a little bit of wind noise, but the engine is just low, a low hum. It's just nice and relaxing. It's very, very comforting, very enjoyable. So getting the most out of the cruise diesel is actually pretty easy. You've got a really, really in-depth uh, trip computer up front. You can actually cycle through, see your current speed. That's uh, kilometers empty, 618 kilometers to an empty tank of diesel. We've already done 539, <laughs> so that's pretty good economy. Um, got our navigation, timers, I mean all the gauges are super easy to see. Uh, everything's really, really easy to use. And then it also has this eco coach thing here where it'll show you, see if I dip into the gas, it'll show you I'm using more fuel. And then if you let off the gas, it'll actually show you that you're using less fuel. And it also says that my average uh, for this trip here is 5.6 liters per 100K. And then after a little while, it'll actually give you your best score. So after driving it for a few weeks, it'll say like, oh, you know, that one day you did uh, four liters average or five or something. Otherwise, the center console is actually pretty easy to understand. Uh, climb it down below, great buttons, super, super easy to use. And uh, you've got the navigation and radio here. So there's actually a home button that'll let you quickly access everything. All right, it's late afternoon. We've been taking our time getting to Indianapolis and we've actually just ticked over 700 kilometers on this trip. And we're just under half a tank of diesel fuel. <laughs> Again, averaging 5.2 liters per 100K and average speed of just over 100. Um, this car has just been supremely comfortable. You can barely hear the engine. Uh, wind noise isn't too bad. It's just eating up the kilometers. We've had to stop like three or four times um, just to stretch our legs because this car could keep going without us. It's just amazing. Yeah, so we obviously made it to the 500 and it was a great race, but I guess the thing that was really interesting was just that the cruise diesel was, did exactly what it was supposed to. I mean, we got here on less than a tank, more than 850 kilometers. Road nice, great on mileage. 
what else could you ask for?